Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my third tutorial on uh, PTC Creo piping. Uh, in the previous tutorials, we have studied about how to create piping in uh, piping module okay, of PTC Creo, uh, but we had not done how to ex extract information from the piping uh, piping model model. Okay, so that we will be doing today. Uh, what I have done is I have already created uh, the piping stuff. I mean, I have created two solid pipes and two hose pipes. And today we are going to extract all the information that is available in this. Okay, so let's uh, see what all information can be extracted from this. First, we go to piping. Everything is uh, done over here. So we'll go to piping information. Here we can extract general information, length of any given pipe, whether it can be hose pipe or a solid pipe build of material bend location at bend location in the sense each and every points location with respect to particular current system bend machine hold report clocking angle this is only available for hose pipes okay flexible pipes then chuck pipe and these below are available only if they are available the, like insulation if you have added insulation for to the pipe it will be available or it will not be available output dollar that is what is the cost of the entire piping it is only available if each and every costing of the components are available okay so let's go one by one First is general, okay. Uh, first is general information. Uh, let's go and click on any of the pipe, okay. So the moment you click on that particular pipe link, what you get is we, you get to know what is the name of the pipe and stock used. That is raw material used, okay. I'll go and click on this. Here you see the pipe name is different, but stock is same, okay. Then I'll go here and click on this. Here, uh, stock is also different. Name is also different. Here stock is same name is different okay general information only give you about two things name of the pipe a second the second thing is stock name okay then comes next is length okay here what the moment you click on length all the pipes that are available in a particular assembly will be highlighted you need to just pick them okay say yes done the length of each pipe whether it is a solid pipe tube or a hose pipe will be shown over here okay so here we have three uh, we have four pipes two are solid pipes last two are uh, hose pipes and uh, the connectors will also be shown if the same connectors it will not be repeated otherwise it will be repeated i'll show different so we have two hose pipes with different lengths over here okay then next comes is pre-cut or center line whatever it is pre-cut means if you have already cut from there you can pick it up length otherwise center line of the pipe then comes bill of material when you the moment you click on bill of material all the pipes that are available in a particular assembly file will be shown over here with, with the number of connectors here we i'm using same connector eight times so it will show eight pipe one is one time pipe two one time two flex pipes with different names okay so this is the bill of material for that particular assembly so here it is creo piping creo piping tutorial video underscore three okay then comes bend location this is very important in this is available only in case of uh, solid pipes not in case of hose pipes what you have to do is you have to go and kick uh, you have to go and click the segment of the pipe and the current system from where you are going to measure it it will give you the location of each and every single point okay with respect to partic particular current system for example this this point is zero zero okay it is starting second point comes here that is shown over here 165 point length it is shown third point is this okay fourth point is this fifth sixth seventh and eighth there are two points here so eight points are shown over here okay similarly i'll go and click here and i'll pick the current system for that it will again give me the location okay this is how you pick the location of each and every point then comes bent machine this is used for machining when you are going to use the when you're going to create a hose pipe uh, using a bend machine this is required okay again you click on the first segment okay then you see pick the just sort you pick the first segment it will uh, it will pick up all the bending information is available here what will be the twist angle what will be the bend angle bend radius okay there is no twist angle over here it will remain as it is 0 or 180 okay offset from that particular point okay so this is for one pipe this is for the other pipe okay after a bend machine you have hole reports Hole report is only available if holes are drilled. Okay, I'll pick this segment, and here you can see I have two holes, not eight holes. Here I can see 
no there are six holes actually okay one two and three below and top it will show same thing okay so this 25 distance is from the start of that point and angle at which it is diameter is five okay what is the whole diameter it will show you second is on top of that same thing third is 50 from second one see how it shows is first is 25 from this uh, end of the pipe here it is 25 second hole will be from the first hole okay third hole will be from the second hole fourth hole which is at the bottom of this will be from the previous hole so this is the, this is the reason why we have zero zero over here okay angle and diameter of that similarly you can go and pick the other one okay it will show you the same thing angle this first one is elevated angled because the corner system is not properly created remaining it will be 180 degrees with respect to everything okay once hole is done clocking angle this is very important what is clocking angle actually see uh, in this is important in case of hose pipes okay what happens in hose pipe is sometimes you add a connector at both the ends and you go and connect it to the uh, various locations sometimes the pipe gets twisted off reason is you are not properly uh, clamping the connectors to the hose pipe to avoid this okay it will tell you in advance what will be the uh, clocking angle if in modeling itself okay so you click on segment okay then you click on the uh, corner systems it will show that the clocking angle in this case is minus 5.822 degrees it is with respect to corners with respect to connectors only okay now i can show the same clocking angle here here is this this is my corn system for this we need to have two corn systems with respect to both the um, what you can say uh, one minute i'll go and click click on this here here we have clocking angle is zero because these two connectors have not twisted the pipe okay so that is the reason why there's the clocking angle is zero in this case okay if the connectors are twisted or not properly aligned with respect to the with, with each other there will be a clocking angle which has to be zero in ideal case okay and then check pipe all that you need to do is pick a pipe okay it will give you the what it says is number of bends and minimum bend angle it is just the information what is the client stock for that particular pipe and uh, what is the number of bends and bend angle here number of bends is 5 to a uh, violation 6 and bend angle is 15 okay i'll click on this it will give me minimum bend angle minimum bend angle is 15 in this case also here i do not have any bend i don't think in case of flexible pipes we'll get any information no in case of flexible pipes you don't get any information regarding uh, pipe bend angle okay insulation is only available if you have created insulation here we have not created any insulation on this okay so here this is the insulation information we have not added any insulation on this so no insulation will be information will be available last is output when you click on this you will have various values these are all currency information these are all the pipe information bend information and cost for each bend portion will be available here i do not have that information for the cost it's not available output fif in nothing but complete detail okay uh, frankly speaking guys i didn't understand what is fif is uh, people who work in oil and gas industries might know about this okay we work in hydraulic industries so check pipe show report for setup here also we didn't get it but most of the time what we use is general we use we use general information where we get information about stock uh, stock and uh, piping segment we get about stock and pipe name okay then we come for length as i already said we'll have length for each and every pipe segment that is available in the particular assembly piping assembly created bill of material is one thing that we read bend location we we need to uh, create proper bending for qc or everything bend machine if it is solid pipe we need to bend it so we add this corner systems in the bend machine to get the desired shape of the pipe hole report if you have holes on the pipe okay uh, then we have clocking angle in case of uh, hose pipes okay uh, just to make sure that the two end connectors do not twist the pipe when the pipe is assembled in the uh, assembly okay check pipe it will give us the amount of bend and minimum bend angle okay bend angle then 
these three information insulation if it is available the insulation information insulation information will be available or not be available okay thank you